When Dave and I were growing up, the idea of, of collecting playing cards didn't really exist. We had a couple of decks to choose from, Bicycle, Tally Ho, and, and B brand playing cards. Playing cards were a deck of bicycles and go fish with my grandma. And we were also always collecting casino decks. I always saw Dan and Dave with Jerry's or a Dunes deck. And they looked cool. They were very retro. And they had a very distinct feel and finish. I don't think any other deck has matched since. But at the time, that was it. There weren't really any custom playing cards or unique back designs. And I think it was always in the back of our mind, hey, we should do our own deck of cards. And at that time, the first thought was, how the hell do you design a deck of playing cards? Once David Blaine released his deck of cards, that inspired us and definitely made us sit down and say, hey, we gotta do this. What are our cards gonna look like? Who's gonna design them and what are we gonna call them? When Dan and Dave told me they're making their own deck and I, as a joke, said, make one white, one black, call it smoke and mirrors. It's just an empty canvas. Anything can be on this card. And I think it took uh, working with Cy Scott initially for us to grasp that then it just opened the floodgates. The exciting part about designing a deck of playing cards is seeing where you can take it. When we released the first edition, we had no idea there would be a, a second, third. Initially, I don't even think the thought of selling it occurred to us. The first time I ever heard of a playing card deck being sold for over $100, I looked and saw what it was. It was a Smoke and Mirrors deck. I, I couldn't believe it. We used to use those as just like normal cards. We had no idea they would spawn this entire collectible market. It's something that, you know, went way bigger than we ever expected. It's amazing the, uh, the recognition and the support the cards have had over the years. The Smoke and Mirrors were designed for magicians and cardists. They were designed to be used, you know. We built them to last, to be beautiful, to fan well, to shuffle well. And as we printed the following editions, we always added something new. What if we could do this? What if we could do that? It was always just our mission to constantly improve the quality of the cards. There was always a limitation in the past, whether it was budget, technological reasons. What's the next big thing? And now it was, you know, pull out all the stops. At first, version 7 was just going to be another another color. We, we actually teased it in version 6 by including an ad card that was potentially the design for version 7. But after that was released and after really thinking about it, we decided that no, 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 we had to do something really special. We wanted to really say farewell to the, to the brand, to the franchise. We really wanted to satisfy our fans and the, the collectors of our cards. We had to update not just one deck, but all of the decks. And give fans what they wanted, the ultimate box. For the deluxe box set, we set it upon ourselves to do everything imaginable to make these the ultimate deck of cards. We redesigned everything from the ground up. We used effects like embossing and foil stamping. We went completely over the top. We actually foil stamped the inside of a box. That's not even something you see on the outside, but it's a detail that when you open, you can appreciate. Everything matches, everything is exactly the way we want it. We really worked with the US Playing Card Company to allow their press to get thin borders. I think this is gonna be a big trend. One feature of the new Smoke and Mirrors that we're really excited about is the seal. This has been something on our mind for a long time, and it's something that, uh, you know, we thought, why, why hasn't this been done before? It's so simple. And all we did was add a perforation along the crescent. So that way it's no longer difficult to open a box. Uh, the Smoke and Mirrors Deluxe box set is five years of experience for Dave and I in printing playing cards. It's everything we know about that in one box, signed, numbered, only 10,000 made, and once they're sold, that's it, they're gone forever. We're discontinuing the brand. It's sad to see them go, but I think you'll agree it's a grand farewell. The Smoke and Mirrors were a fantastic run. We thank you for that, and we hope you enjoy this final edition.